what's up welcome back to another video i know i haven't done an update in a long time but i am back for my 12 week update and i am well actually it's my 9 to 12 week update i'm currently 12 weeks and one day and i i'm starting to feel better but i'm gonna tell you guys all of all about my symptoms in a little bit before we get into this video i do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel give me a like and turn on your post notifications for future videos okay guys so like always i have my little list here so since my last update i feel like i was kind of feeling a little bit worse i'm um, in my last update i have been well actually this is the first week that i actually started noticing like myself feeling a little bit better because i know that the past weeks i just been really really tired and stuff like that but so the in between these three weeks three to four weeks in these four weeks i'm just gonna say it's four weeks okay so in my last videos i did mention that i was feeling very nauseous even i don't know if i mentioned this but i even water was like making me really nauseous in the morning and everybody was recommending for me to drink like the alkaline water and things like that and that actually did work for me it's just that sometimes i drink a lot of water so sometimes like i would run out of it so i had no choice but to drink the water so i would just drink it and i noticed today in the morning i drink a glass of water just regular water and nothing happened and usually like in the mornings when i would wake up and drink my first glass of water if if i if it would be the one from here that we have it would just make me nauseous and it would just the whole day i would feel like that i would just feel very like hungover and just that like sick feeling that you get so um that went away around the week around week 10 so i've been feeling a little bit better with that for already like two weeks and i don't want to talk too soon because one of the weeks i remember feeling like my nauseousness went away and then it came back so i don't want to say oh my god it's gone forever you know for good whatever because i hope i just hope it doesn't come back for now it's been getting a little bit better um a lot better actually so let's hope that that's the end of it one major thing that changed in these past weeks was my headaches so if you guys follow me on instagram i don't know if you guys saw me complaining but headache headaches have been like a major part of this i don't get headaches so the fact that i started getting headaches with this pregnancy i just oh my god it's I hate getting them and then yes I can drink Tylenol but I just feel like the baby's too small right now and I shouldn't be drinking anything like anything that could I don't know medicine I don't just don't rather just not drink it and me I want to I notice that going to sleep like just closing my eyes going to sleep for a little bit does make me feel better let's see puppy so it makes my headaches feel way better they don't go away because they're there the entire day but they does help me with that so so my headaches by the way they feel kind of like migraines or i don't know i don't know how migraines feel because like i said my head never hurts unless like i'm hungover or something you know things like that but it's just very rare for, for my head to just hurt you know so it just felt like my pain was around here like i could go like this and i could feel like t -t 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 -t. and then like the light would bug my eyes so whenever i would be driving or something the light would bank my would make my head hurt more so that's why like i wouldn't even um open the blinds or anything like that because the light would bug me so yeah it was like it got really bad like some days i still get them they haven't went away it just depends on the day i guess i have noticed that when i am a little bit more moody or stressed out i do get them um, more like i just i think i overwhelm myself and then like that's how just my body reacts to getting a headache and then i actually missed one day of work i i barely work you guys i work um part time and i work about three times a week but uh when i, I think last week i had to call in to work sick and i just couldn't because i knew that my my job is based around customer service so I knew that with my headache, um, I had got one the day before and it just my head started hurting towards my end, the end of the shift and we have to like greet people, you know, we have to basically like yell and like, hey, welcome in, um, is there anything we can help you with, you know, things like that and 
like that was making my head hurt like i was getting like oh my god like i couldn't do that you know so i was like should i even risk it should i even go to work and feel like shit the entire time so I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna rest. So I ended up just staying home that day. And I haven't missed work after that because luckily I haven't been getting them when I have to go to work. Sometimes I get them like at work towards the end of my shift. So I just like, whatever, I suck it up. But I haven't been getting them like that day where it was like, since when I woke up all the way, like it was just horrible, horrible headache. And like I said, I haven't drank anything. What I do is I just go to sleep. Um, I close all the blinds, make sure there's no lights. And then I just go to sleep. So my fatigue has been getting way better, you guys. I have been able, I mean, in the beginning weeks, I feel like in the first weeks was my worst, worst, worst. Um, when I felt the worst, I just felt so tired for no reason. I felt like I could sleep the entire day. Um, now I'm able to get up at 8 and start my day at 8 and... I'm excited because now I'm able to do more because, you know, I have more time in my day. I've been working more on Classy Lady. I actually reorganized the entire um, Classy Lady, like my closet, the inventory. I refolded everything and it just looks very neat. And yeah, it's because I was able to have the energy to do that. And I just never thought I was going to get the energy back because I just really honestly felt like crap. And... Even to do my makeup, like, I couldn't do it, you guys. I was like, oh, my God, dying. But I feel like everything's getting better. I feel like this this week, i just been feeling way better. And maybe because I hit my second trimester or I'm about to hit it. I don't know if it's considered the 12th week or the 13th week. But I think because since ever since, you know... I kind of am getting close to it. It just, I've been feeling better, you know? So, that's another little update. Uh, very, okay, one more thing, and that's like, I don't know if this is common or something, but, I mean, my family, they, they always, all the, all the girls, um, like my mom, my grandma, my aunts, they all have very cool veins, like, what are they called in Spanish? Um... Varicosas? I don't know. But varicose veins. No, that's what it's called. Varicose veins. I know they have a name. And I know I know, I know, know how to say it in Spanish. But I just don't remember the name right now. But you guys, I've been getting more of them. And I don't know. Somebody told me it was because I was standing too much. And at work, I do stand a lot. Like, I stand... I only work for hours and I'm standing the entire time. But could it be that? Or, like, is it because I'm pregnant? Or, like... I don't know what, but I noticed them, like, a lot more, you guys. Like, on my thighs, i just been getting so many, and I'm kind of scared, and I don't know if that's normal. So, that's another update. I still have been very moody. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a bad mood, and that's it. Poor Sergio, I know, but cravings. Cravings, you guys. I feel like I've been letting you guys know what I've been craving, like, um, throughout my pregnancy. Excuse my son. So, throughout my pregnancy, I, you know, I haven't been liking the foods that I used to like. And one of them being meat and oils. I cannot cook with oils. I cannot cook meat. Like, it just gives me ascos. And then lately, I don't know if you guys remember how I was so obsessed with caldo de pollo, you guys. I cannot smell the pollo boiling. Like, for shit. I, it, the only way I can cook um chicken is by grilling it like on the grill i can add just a little tiny bit of oil but like not for it to be frying you get me like i don't know how to explain to you guys but i add it once it's already grilling i add a little bit of oil like on top of the chicken just because i don't want to look at the oil by itself so that's like a little trick of mine i've been obsessed with pasta um i have been trying to like switch it up because i know pasta has a lot of carbs and Así voy a acabar si sigo tragando carbs. And, I mean, I, I do try to um, eat, like, the alternative, the um, healthier alternative, the whole grain, you know, but that's still carbs. So, i just been trying to stay away from it as much as I can. And, I mean, I think you guys know that I've been craving a lot of sweets. I'm not the type of person to be eating, like, to eat like that, you know, like, to be eating, um... 
things like that. Like, I'll eat some, like, a candy and that's it. But you guys, lately, I've been, like, like, if Nathan puts his, um, his Halloween candy next to me, I'll eat it all. Like, he even tells me, Mommy, only get two because, you know, sometimes I go crazy with it. And, yeah, I'm like, me paso. So, yes, lately I have been craving a lot of, like, cereal. But I, I choose uh, Cheerios, you know, just ha try to stay healthy instead of getting, like, Cocoa Puffs or something. But if I do crave Cocoa Puffs, which I do, I'll just get a little, kind of, a little tiny vasito like this. Put milk and cereal and that's it. That's, like, the only, because I know that's, like, super, like, bad. So, you know, I don't, no me quedo con las ganas, but I don't abuse of it. And then after that, like, I'll just eat my regular cereal, which is, like, the Cheerios. And that's what I'll have. But... Yes, I have been craving sweets. From as for meat, I can eat it. I just don't want to see it. Like I don't want to cook it. Like me da, I don't know why me da mucho asco. Like it just it's disgusting to me, and it's just I don't know. I can't eat it. So the only the only thing I can eat is like carne molida. I can eat that, but I can't eat like steak or carne asada or any meat like caldo de res things like that i can't like especially with the smell mm -mm. my hair is i don't know if i mentioned this in the, another update but my hair has been falling off basically whenever i go like this and i pull my hair you guys oh my god like me sale it so much even Sergio's like dang is that normal and it kind of worries me because i'm like am i gonna be bald by the end of this pregnancy it's just barely starting and i'm already losing this much hair and it's so much like i just go like that in the shower and it's just like whoosh, everything comes off and from what i remember i mean my hair was beautiful long like it was like touching my butt almost with nathan like it grew that much and it was literally like this i swear to you it was like this and it grew all the way to my butt with nathan and you know that's what i'm waiting for i'm waiting for my long hair to come in but it's just deciding to fall off instead so i'm a little confused i don't know let me know if that happened to you because i look online and that's not really common i keep forgetting to ask my doctor i think i have another doctor's appointment next week so i'm gonna ask on that because i'm getting a little concerned at first i was like oh it's just like probably me like i don't know something but like now that it keeps happening and it's kind of like starting to concern me because i don't want to be bald so also the smell okay yes yeah, some some smells like i said like caldos and things like that still gives me ascos there's certain things that still give me asco especially like some colognes oh my god it just like it may it, it gives me so much asco that it makes my head hurt like that's how much asco like if you're wearing a certain cologne or a certain perfume i just cannot take it and i you guys i literally i'm like it gets me so frustrated because i wish like you could take it off you know and another update this week i have been hitting the gym today was my second day because i did turn 12 weeks so i was like I need to hit the gym because that's what I said that during my, I don't know if it's after the 12 weeks, so it would be the 13th week that it would be considered my second trimester or is it considered now? I'm not really sure, but, but I knew and I knew, I always knew that I wanted to continue working out while pregnant because I wanted to just keep my, my condition and it's also very healthy for you so of course i'm not lifting as much as i used to you know i'm going very very slow on the weights but i am um weight training and i do like 20 minutes of cardio and then i weight train for like about 30 minutes as well so i spent about an hour at the gym and today was my second day and i feel good i mean i go i don't drink i haven't drink caffeine for about four months about four or five months i think i left caffeine as soon as i knew that i wanted to be pregnant just because i knew that that could um, prevent you from getting pregnant so i haven't drank any caffeine at all no red bulls nothing and sometimes i do feel like i need it and i do get tired but i mean oh wow i just have to deal with it i think that's it for me for right now let me show you guys the bump This is what it looks like. I just ate, so if it looks a little more bloated than usual. I mean, it's obviously grew because it has to grow. 
but this is what it looks like. I'm wearing um some high waisted leggings. This is like all I can wear because everything else is starting to bug me already, especially at work. When I wear pants to work and I like bend down, it hurts my stomach. So these have been coming through. Um, they're very helpful. I just have been um, wearing a lot of high waisted stuff. The baby is okay. We actually went to my 12 week checkup. It's like the ultrasound checkup, and everything. The doctor said she's gonna submit every everything. She's like, but from what I saw, all the measurements and everything looked fine. Um, they measured, you know, everything with the baby, the nose, the head, the foot, whatever. And so we're excited for that. And let me show you guys the ultrasound. Let me let me go get it really quick just so I can end it with that. <laughs> okay, guys. So these is the pictures of the baby. So this is the first one. The face. She put alien face just to like, she was laughing about it. She's like, it's okay though. They look like little aliens, but it's okay in the beginning. Um, this is the brain. This is the hand. Oh no, this is the foot. The feet, I think. And then this is the this is the baby. I think the baby was going like this or something. So we can see the little head. Another one. And the last one. <laughs> Hi, mommy and daddy. And um, good news, Sergio was able to go um, in the room for this ultrasound. It was his first time seeing the baby in the ultrasound. So, he was excited. He was very happy. And I was happy, you know, because he finally got to see the baby. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, we're very happy. The baby seems very healthy, and I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, this is just a little update for you guys. We're going to, now that I feel better, I do, I do want to start focusing more on YouTube again and just getting my focus back on. I feel like I just felt like crap the beginning, and like my energy levels were really, really low. And I feel like now I feel like I can actually do things. I mean, I'm already filming. I, With everything that I have done, I feel like I have, I have energy. Like, I have, I can do it. You know, I went to the gym. If I'm able to do all that in a day and no, with no naps, you know, and I feel good right now. Like, I can still edit this video and I'm good. Um, I can do it. So, I'm very motivated and I'm so excited to, like, keep doing this. And I hope you guys stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, we wanted to record for you guys a vlog over there at the ultrasound place. But they didn't let us record. And it's the second time they told us like we can't let you record. So I'm guessing no one's going to let us. So that's why I'm like I'm just going to stay there anyways. Like oh well if they don't let us record. She's like I'm, I'm going to give you pictures. And I was like I wanted to record. But, oh yeah, and the heart rate is 152. So, if, for those of you that are going to ask, heart rate is 152. And, yeah, so I'm very, very happy and excited to share um, everything that's coming with you guys. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll keep you guys updated. And, yeah, bye.